Good morning and welcome to Florida Day 6. So this morning we're off to do a little timeshare tour. They sold us with a free buffet breakfast and $150. So given we didn't have anything else to do this morning, we thought, why not? After that, we're gonna come back to the room, spend a bit of time here just to kind of miss the hottest point of the day because it is really getting hot now. And um, then we're gonna head to Volcano Bay this afternoon, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to our Volcano Bay Day. We're also looking forward to this buffet breakfast. So we just got back and all we can say is it's the first and the last time we're ever going to do anything like that. It took far longer than what originally was set out and um, it was interesting to hear about stuff and I won't name the resort but we did really like it. We, we really liked looking around and the rooms were lovely and things um, but then obviously they turned on the hard sell which was really off-putting and I don't know, I have an opinion but I'm kind of reluctant to share it because I don't want to slight anybody but I just think that's a big investment for something that you've only heard you know an hour and a half's worth of information about and obviously not understanding all of the legalities and all the rest of it so no just didn't really like it and um, so yes first and last time but it was something a bit different for us to do we got to ride in a golf buggy that was probably the best bit <laughs> Um, so now we've just come back to the room and we're going to have our Gideons, going to have a cup of tea and then we're going to get ready for Volcano Bay. We're all ready for Volcano Bay. We're like fully sun creamed up because, and I didn't know this, I'm not sure if anybody else did, but let me just grab my phone. On iPhone weather, and maybe you think I'm a total layman for not knowing this, but obviously you just get your usual like weather 31 going up to 32 but if you click on it and then you can change it to UV index I mean that's pretty scary stuff right hence why we've left it so late and um, because now it's obviously like on the decline I'm glad that we've not like been out in that today because our Casper skin would not cope very well with that <laughs> So yeah, we're all ready, just got to put hats on, sunglasses on, and then we're going to go. And like I say, I think it opens until 7 tonight, it stays open until 7, so we'll have a little bit later there to make up for the time that we haven't been there this morning. So yes, let's go to Volcano Bay. We're just debating whether or not we need a regular locker or a mini locker. I'll show you the difference. I think they're $10, $10 for the mini and $16 for the regular. I don't know. Let me show you. These ones are the regular lockers and they're like perfect lounge fly size. And then just around the back, they're actually a little bit out of the way. Mini lockers. And these are just like the, the lockers that you get on the rides in Universal. So more like bum bag size. But you can fit a lounge fly like on its back with stuff emptied out from it. So we'll see. It's too big. <laughs> oh, see that is way too big. Um, 
Same as Velocicoaster. Same as Velocicoaster. Right, we're going to go ahead and rent the mini locker, um, which is a $6 saving because we're just going to decant everything out of my bag into here. So we're going to switch you now to the GoPro. We've arrived just after 2.30, Denton's favourite time. And we managed to get a uh, slot for Cracker Tower, but it's a 240 minute virtual queue time. Now we've just uh, found a sun lounger, dropped our stuff off. We're heading to the Lazy River, and on our way, we've just had a look at Cracker Tower, and it says ride full, so there's no more virtual queue slots. But I suspect it'll be like, what happened on our last trip in Feb is that they will release them, I guess, as people are leaving the park and whatnot. But if not, well, then we're very lucky to get a slot, so we'll see what happens. But yes, over to the Lazy River. Oh, these tubes are amazing. It's really good that they're um, free to use. There's water in the way, there's water in the way. Oh, Oscar's protecting me from the water. Thank you, honey. <laughs> It's cold water and we're not ready just yet. We're just acclimatising. But given how um, oven-esque it felt outside, as soon as we got into the water, oh, it's so nice. And yeah, it just feels really relaxing. for it as well. I said there's nothing lazy about that waterfall. <laughs> yeah. That's like impossible to avoid as well. Uh, that one is. The one coming in you can kind of dodge. Because uh, the sun has gone cold. behind that big grey cloud. Stay there for a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing Oscar? <laughs> So whilst we're trying to enjoy being lazy, Oscar's insisted on dragging us through every single fountain. <laughs> I was taking great pleasure in it. Yeah! Okay, well you're going to be more blind. <laughs> Are you cheeky? Yeah. You're so cheeky! Oh, Oscar! <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. <laughs> no! Somebody activate it! No! Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. Dog. That I'm pretty is sure crazy. we've had one in the past that wasn't that thin. Nobody likes a 
like the thin <laughs> sausage. So that hot dog, we just finished it. And that's what we would refer to in our house as a crap dog, as in one that comes out of like a jar or something. Certainly not $17.49's worth. The pizza, however, is like, seems quite reasonably priced for like the size of it, but that hot dog. Yeah. I'd be happy if it was like a Costco hot dog, like a big chunky Yeah, if you had a chunky one. Garbage, it even took the sides. But anyway, no, Oscar's happy, he likes his pizza, which is good. It's a slushy knife. that you're kind of out of an attraction or out of a pool so it wasn't really worth it it wasn't really worth the extra luggage space for us but yeah let's go to the wave pool
stuck my spin. Oh. We've had a great day at Volcano Bay, haven't we? Yeah. Our half a day. It's always one of our best days on any of our trips. We absolutely love yeah. it. And I definitely think it made such a difference like temperature wise coming when we did because it was just nice then. Yeah, it was it wasn't... like hot when we arrived, but it only lasted about 15 minutes then. Yeah, and then it was just, oh, it's nice, just it's nice, nice and then nice and chilled. So we're gonna... Like we got so much done. Yeah, we did get a lot done, didn't we? Yeah. All of our favorites. So we're gonna head back to Endless Summer. We're gonna get showered and we're aiming to go for dinner at Chili's tonight, which would be another first for us. Um, but yeah, we really fancy that. So yeah, let's see what we get up to this evening. We're back in the room. And mother and son are just having a very inappropriate dance to Limp Biscuits break stuff. Check this. Look at this craziness. It's literally stood on end. Nice. So, the plan is for Chili's tonight. But we really can't be bothered to go back out. It's a bit of a walk from us, which is usually fine. But it's now 8.05 and I've not even showered yet. So, we are in America. So, we're going to take advantage of American hospitality and get it delivered. So we're very excited about that, like we've ordered like an absolute feast, so we'll show you what it's like when it gets here. Now if you've been following along with any of our trips, we have never had any luck with like an Uber Eats to like any of the Disney hotels or anything. I think Paris in particular is always quite difficult because they only let them drop it like at the front entrance gate not even like come to the hotel lobby so let's find out but yeah really looking forward to Chili's and um, I think we'll have to have a bed picnic so yeah I'm just gonna get stuff tidied up so that we can like set some stuff out and try and sort this out oh my god it's here they actually delivered it to the room what we are you? like buzzing Oh, I'll show you what we've got. They actually delivered it to the room. That is incredible. Oh my God, we're so hungry. It smells so good. Right, I ordered the fajitas. So there's the sour cream, the salsa, the cheese. And then in here, oh, steak and chicken, peppers and onions. I think that must be beans and rice. And your wraps. Oh, and wraps. Our fajitas are our wraps. What's this? That's like... Salsa, that one's cold. These are soups. Oh, Pete ordered chipotle chicken. Chipotle chicken strips and fries. I'm gonna nick a fry here. Oh. Mm. We have a big bag of nachos. A huge bag. I ordered baked potato soup. Oh, That's that one. A bit leaky. Oh, I don't put, put it on, on the bed then. Um, Pete ordered the enchilada soup and that must be the queso to go with the nachos. How much was it? $60. $60? Oh, that's not actually a receipt. Oh my god, so much food. It was 59.15. That was delivery fee, service charge and tax. Nice. Right, we're gonna get stuck in. So the food has been demolished. It was actually really nice. Really good. Yeah. Really good. It was really nice, actually. I am stuffed. Pete is stuffed. Mm. Oscar's stuffed. Yes. We are stuffed. And it's now 20 past nine. And someone bought more bloody tackies. You can't see you. You're like. Literally hidden behind me. That's supposed to be seen. There's a camera Nobody knows about Oh. So, I hope you've enjoyed following along with today's vlog. We've had a really nice day. So, join us for our next vlog. We're doing something special. The most magical place <laughs> on earth. Answer the call. So we are so lucky and fortunate to have such amazing friends because our lovely friends 
are taking us to Magic Kingdom tomorrow on their friends and family cast member thing. So we're doing one day at Disney and obviously such a hard task to pick, but happily ever after and Tron absolutely won out for us. So we're heading to Magic Kingdom tomorrow and yeah, hopefully we get to ride Tron, hopefully we get to watch Happily Ever After. I'm very excited. So join us for the next vlog when we're at Magic Kingdom. If you've enjoyed this one, please give us a big thumbs up and a subscribe is always appreciated. And what are you doing behind me? What is? Oh God. <laughs> That's literally a picture in my mum's house. I was Joe. Oh, is your dad is doing your da my dad doing that? Where was I? Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and a subscribe is always appreciated. And we'll see you again soon. 